Hey guys, this is the Saigami Project and my name is Andrea Tilia Vörös, aka Sunny, creator of the manga series Saigami, published and serialized in Saturday AM. In my previous video, I created a line art featuring Saturday AM's female heroines, and like promised, in today's video, I'm gonna color the piece of artwork using Prismacolor Premium pencils. If you follow my artworks or videos more frequently, so not that I create videos that frequently, I'm really sorry about that, it will change, I promise. Um, but yeah, if you follow my artworks, you could see that I mostly use either watercolor to color my artworks or um, I color them digitally. So, not that long ago, I started to experiment with colored pencils because I still prefer working traditionally over digitally, but I don't really have enough money to buy a huge set of Copic markers, so I experimented with the cheaper, cheaper markers, you could see my review on those Touch 5 markers, but yeah, I'm still in that experimental phase where I'm trying to find the best materials to work with traditionally when it comes to coloring. So yeah, this is how I got to the Prismacolor colored pencils. Previously I worked with um, the cheaper color, uh, Crayola pencils, I tried out a cheaper type of Faber-Castell colored pencils and um, a colored pencil brand named Mapad or Mapad, I'm not really sure how to pronounce it, I think those are French made pencils, maybe, I'm not really sure. But yeah, not so long ago I had the chance to get Prismacolors and yeah, in this video I'm gonna test those. I was really really excited to try out these pencils because you can't get them in Hungary, so yeah, it was pretty exciting for me. And the experiment wasn't just about the colored pencils, because I also tried out a new type of paper, um, the Bristol Smooth Board, which worked really well out when it came to inking. It worked perfectly fine with my ink and nib pens. It really has a smooth surface, kind of similar to the Deliter manga paper, so I really liked it. But I never tried it before with colored pencils, so I was a little bit worried that um, the colored pencil uh, won't blend that much on the smooth paper because I won't be able to put down so many layers. So I also tried out a new method for blending the colored pencils. So yeah, follow me along as I color this piece. I'm gonna explain what I did, though the video is sped up pretty much. Um, in real time it took me a bit over 3 hours to color this image. But you know, colored pencils are a slow material. But anyway, let's talk about the real deal, the coloring. Usually I start uh, by coloring the skin tones first. I do it the same way when I, it comes to watercolor when I work digitally. I just like to start with the skin. So uh, first I started coloring the character on the right, left, right, no, left. <laughs> oh my god, yeah. <laughs> it depends. So I started coloring Nuo first, um, heroine from Neo World Zodiac. And first I started to use a sort of cream color for her skin, since Nuo is uh, an Asian character. I wanted her skin color to match that ethnicity. So I started to work with lighter colors and I was really careful not to put in too much uh, uh, brown or uh, too reddish colors into her skin tones. So since her outfit is red, I worked in some red in the shading. Also, I'm not gonna name the name of uh, the colors I was using because honestly I can't really remember. I'm <laughs> I'm whenever I'm picking a color, I'm not like, oh, I'm gonna pick the peach, pink or whatever, I just look at the color and <laughs> pick them, but uh, know that I used various colors, even from her skin tones, I used like four different types of colors, and uh, for the shading I also used a bit of uh, magenta color and a sort of purplish reddish uh, color as well 
to give some more depth and a bit more 3D effect because uh, you know it's gonna liven up your drawings if you use uh, uh, various hues and not just saturations of colors so I tried to mix in some more colors but at this point I wasn't really sure how well the paper will handle uh, the different layers so I used a trick which you can use with uh, color pencils and use some sort of liquid material to blend them Usually you can use paint thinner to blend color pencils pretty nicely. So at that moment when I was working on this piece of artwork, I didn't have paint thinner with me. And even if I had, I probably wouldn't have used it because my room has really bad ventilation. And you know, paint thinner can be really smelly and you can get a headache and it's not that healthy. <laughs> Um, of course you can get other less paint in there, but that's something I don't have. So I kind of improvised and instead of the paint in there, I used baby oil. I know, it sounds totally random, but it works. You can blend your colored pencil colors with baby oil. And yeah, it can sort of be an art hack as well. Because, you know, baby oil is usually cheaper than paint thinner, especially if you are trying to buy an odorless art paint thinner. Because those can be kind of expensive, it depends on your art store though. But, you know, baby oil is something you can get in basically every small stores and shops and it's pretty common. And, and you can even pick the various others. <laughs> so, yeah, I, I blend my colors with... Uh, that baby oil. I used uh, cotton buds for that or for the smaller areas I used um, smaller brushes I use for watercolor. Of course you have to make sure you don't use too much of that oil because uh, you have to take into consideration that uh, your paper will basically soak up uh, with that oil. So yeah you have to use that carefully um, I would recommend to experiment first on a different piece of paper to see how your colors will blend, especially if you're uh, mixing uh, colors that can end up uh, getting a bit muddy if you try to mix them. So after finishing up Nuo, I started to color the girl in the background. She's my main character from my manga series Saigami. Uh, called Ayumi and since she's half Asian half European I also started first with the lighter creamish sort of skin color but this time I used more peachish and uh, reddish colors and went in stronger with the magenta and purple color when it came to shading the skin. Also for her hair I used different type of orange, red and yellow uh, colors and I also included some uh, pink and peach color to the hair to give a sort of gradient effect and since uh, her uh, t-shirt or not even t-shirt that's a hoodie yeah that's a hoodie yeah <laughs> so yeah since her uh, hoodie is a sort of pinkish color you know I wanted to give her hair a sort of rim light effect with mixing in some more pinks and like you know, I also used uh, the baby oil to blend the colors nicely. And at this point I was a little bit more braver uh, with layering the colors because I could see that the Bristol paper is handling the different layers and even the baby oil and different layers of baby oil pretty nicely. So I was really really happy with the paper and with the pencils as well at this point. So I tried to layer some more and more colors. After finishing up Ayumi, I started the color cast, the heroine of Clock Striker or Hit series, with Shonen Manga's first black female heroine. And like I said, since she's a character of color, I obviously had to use different skin base colors for her. So I brought up the brown uh, hues and I also use some creamish and peachish colors uh, for blending mostly because you know you can blend your colors with the lighter colors pretty nicely. 
it was really fun to work on cast skin color and also the hair I, I just love this type of fur it's so much fun coloring it and yeah it's 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 different than what uh, hairs I normally draw so it was quite a challenge to color her hair traditionally but it was also a lot of fun also I still used a lot of baby oil to blend the colors like I said I at this point I knew that I can just blend everything I want because both the paper and the color pencils are just so good that I could do anything I wanted. So I, at this point I was like, oh my god, I, I kind of enjoyed this more than watercolors, which used to be my go-to uh, coloring method not so long ago, but at this point I was like, oh my god, I'm, I'm so much in love with these Prismacolors. So yeah, I, I really love them so much better than any sorts of color pencils I worked before with. So yeah, and they even had uh, in the set of Prismacolor of, uh, 29 uh, various art uh, tools, uh, your Prismacolor uh, premium pencils, but it also had the very thin and the water uh, color pencils as well, but they even included uh, some metallic colors. And since I had the silver, Color pencil, I could uh, make great use of that when I started to color cast a uh, uh, prosthetic arm or mechanical arm. So yeah, that was a lot of fun to work with. Even though I noticed that uh, the metallic colors don't blend that well, um, but since I used uh, various colors like um, the yellow as rim light and some grayish and blacks and blues. I could pretty well go after that metallic effect. And lastly, I started to color Christine from Commitment. Um, Christine is a French character, so I had to pick out uh, the brighter skin colors once again, but uh, Christine's skin is not so light as, for example, uh, Ayumi's or uh, Nuo's. So this time I used some uh, darker peach uh, colors for the base and I put in more browns and uh, more magenta colors uh, for the shading. She has brown hair color um, but not exactly that sort of brown um, that I had in my selection of color pencils. So like in case of Ayumi's hair I went in with more like uh, four or maybe even five different shades of uh, brown and uh, a bit of pinkish and magenta color uh, to have that uh, sort of hair color she has. It was really exciting and experimentish. But I think in the end I kind of nailed that hair color. I hope. <laughs> and yeah, I used once again a lot of baby oil to blend my colors. In the end I used some white color pencils to blend out some more stuff and a little bit for uh, burnishing and also to make sure that uh, there are no uh, white traces of paper left mostly and I also used a little bit of uh, white gauche uh, for highlights um, in the eyes and a little bit in the hairs um, but at this point I I had to realize that since I was using baby oil, um, the surface of the paper and even uh, the color pencils are uh, wax based, so the whole surface of the drawing was uh, sort of oily and waxish. Um, so, yeah, putting on gauche was a little bit harder than, for example, uh, putting gauche on top of watercolors, um, since uh, due to the wax and the oil. Uh, the surface is kind of water detergent um, so I couldn't really mix up the gush with water so I simply just used uh, it out of the tube and at this point I realized that I won't be able to use my inking pens, pens anymore since uh, the ink won't stay on the paper and it can even ruin so please keep in mind if you are using um, baby oil for blending the colors you won't be able to ink 
on top of that. So you have to ink your line art first and be sure it's it's done right. Usually when I work with the watercolor or even sometimes with color pencils, I still do some inking at the end, especially if I color over the lines and uh, my inking lines aren't so black anymore. Uh, but this time I couldn't do that, so it's something I will have to look out for in the future as well. So, to sum up my experiences, exper experiments or experiences, oh my god, <laughs> I can't English today, sorry. So, to sum up my experiences with this piece of artwork and the new tools and materials I was trying out, god, I had so much fun. It was, it was really great for an experiment. I love the Bristol smooth board paper. It's 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 really great. It's it's so so good, yeah. And um, the Prismacolors are really worth the money. They aren't exactly cheap, but you can find some great discounts. For example, the set I got um, was on a sale in Michaels. And I got them for uh, half of the price because the sale was for 50% off. So it was a damn good deal. So yeah, if you can find uh, sales like that, they are really worth your money because they are really the best colored pencils I've worked so far with. They blend really nicely. The colors are amazing, especially if you have a great selection of colors. Um, then you will have a lot of fun and working with them will be really easy and the colors are so vibrant and nicely and and, and the lead is really great um, they don't break that easily you could see in the video that I I had such a terrible experience with uh, one of my orange colors that was a little of a heart attack for me since you know my main character is having orange hair so obviously the first colors that to run out will be my orange and skin colors, so I was like, no, you, you can't break on me. But uh, yeah, I realized that probably some of the pencils were kind of damaged, damaged uh, during the flight uh, when I came home to Hungary. So yeah, but there's also a trick to fix those, you know, you can heat up your pencils a little bit and the wax uh, probably will do the magic and after that, uh, I didn't have any problem uh, with lead breaking anymore. So the quality of the lead is pretty nice, and they aren't breaking so easily. Especially the very thin; those are really hard and and durable pencils. And yeah, I like the baby oil as well. <laughs> like I said, it's totally random, but it's really useful. And that's also one of the parts I love in artworks. Sometimes you can just use totally random materials you can find at home, or, <laughs> or you wouldn't even think that you can use for art. And yes, you can, and, <laughs> and they are pretty good. So yeah, so much about this artwork. I really hope um, you enjoyed this video, and maybe you would find it useful. Uh, when you want to try out color pencils, I can really recommend the Prisma colors, also the Bristol board. So in the future, I really want to try them out on different sorts of papers, like um, watercolor papers and uh, and uh, tan uh, colored paper, and lots of various things to experiment with. So yeah, I'm really excited. I just need to find time, but. I swear guys, this will change. A lot of videos will be coming from me from September probably. But yeah, I think things will change a lot. So please look forward to that. And also please don't forget, you can read my manga series Saigami in Saturday AM. The magazine is coming out every two weeks with brand new exciting issues of uh, hot web comic titles. You can now even read the issues for free uh, for a very limited time after they come out. So even if you don't want to subscribe yet or just want to get a taste of the magazine, you can do that. You can read some of our free issues and after that if you want you can subscribe. It's you know just $5 for a year and you get 20 issues of 
exclusive and awesome content it's, you know cheaper than a happy meal you want to get so and you can support our creators directly with your purchases for example if you click the subscription link below so if you do that i will be really grateful and also you can get the first volume of saigami in print and in digital format the second volume is really near so it's really exciting i'm almost done and it will debut pretty soon and i will bring more infos and reviews about that in the future so please look out for that as well so until next time i leave you the links below you can find everything in the video description box and i see you guys next time thanks for watching bye